Hi there, Scorpio. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm doing your August 7th through the 31st love reading. I was supposed to be the 15th through the 31st, but I figured why why do that? You know, today's the 7th, and um, it's the lunar eclipse, and you might as well just start right here. It's raining out right now. I don't know if you can hear it. What do you have for Scorpio? It is August 7th, the date of the lunar eclipse. eclipse. It is 9.24 p.m. Eastern Time. Perhaps some of your hard work is starting to pay off. Even though things are a little bit chaotic, you may have a earth sign in your life at this point. It, it would be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Or this is saying that you're being very practical and responsible and you're assuming more responsibilities. Um, you may be um, overindulging a bit in something. We will find out what that is. Looks like something needs moderation. I'm not sure what that is right now, but I see that you need to um, take break. All right. Looks like you need to take break. Um, I think things have been a little chaotic for you. And I think, you know, there's been a few challenges in your life, or there's going to be. This is the August. I always say there has been. You know, I always say that. But this is August through. August 7th through the um, 31st. So it looks like right around the 7th you are still seeing some challenges, but your hard work is starting to pay off. All right? But things are still a little bit chaotic, maybe a little bit disorganized, but you're acting very responsibly and you're doing the, the practical thing. Um, but <laughs> you're doing the practical thing. But here we have... Um, Something that needs moderation, something, some kind of addiction perhaps is is in play. Now this is also a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo person, so maybe, maybe um, it has to do with that. Maybe this person is causing a little bit of chaos in your life, I'm not sure. Okay. So I do think that you need to let go of something. I think that it is time to surrender and let go. There's something you're still hanging on to. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I think you need to let go of the need to control something. I think you're trying to control something and it's just not working out for you. So I think this is the let go of the need to control a situation. Okay, that's what this is. I think there's been conflicts. Maybe there's been some power struggles, you know. There there could be some power struggles going on in your life. Um, these first, you know, the 7th through the 15th, okay. There could be some power struggles. There could be some tension. Um, <coughs> things are a little bit chaotic or disarray. Um, looks like there's still a lot. There's still some passion, though, in your life. So... It looks like there's a lot, something's happening. I think that something is happening um, that needs to be balanced. The, something is out of balance, okay? Something is happening. Um, maybe it was impulsive, okay? Something impulsive has happened um, that causes you the need to reevaluate and re retreat. So this is coming up. It uh, may have happened already or it may not have. But it looks like something is going to happen that is going to cause you to reevaluate. Okay? Um, maybe you just want to escape for a little while. It looks like you might need to escape. Okay? Um, but here, 
we have um, a lot of action. We have a lot of enthusiasm. We have something that is very exciting. So up here we have this need to kind of like escape and just go within and just get away for a little bit probably. It be, and then here, it start, that's up here. Then we go on to the next day and it looks like you decide to finally let something go. Okay, and probably it's some kind of tension you were having with somebody. Could be, could have been a earth sign, you know, and you start to focus on something new. Um, and this is a new exciting opportunity that offers um, enthusiasm and adventure, okay? Um, Yeah, I think there's a lot of passion towards the second end of like the 14th, 15th. There's a lot of passion back in your life. You have a little strife up here between the, you know, the 10th, 11th. But then after that, it starts to get better because you decide to let it go. You decide to let something go and then things start to get better and you start to get back to being very passionate and kind of wanting to act on your impulses. So I think that you will be more... Um, enthusiastic towards the end of the, um, you know, 14th, 15th. <laughs> That's funny. It looks like your zest comes back. Okay, you need a you need a minute to you know retreat, but then your zest comes back. That's good. I'm glad. You start. You have an awakening. Here's an awakening. This is a breakthrough. Okay, and it's connected to this Earth sign. There's an awakening that probably um, has to do with some recent tension or conflicts you've had with this person, and it maybe you end up letting them go. And here, okay, here we have a Sagittarius. Here we have an Aries um, Leo Sagittarius. Here we have an Aries Leo Sagittarius. So the person in your life is probably an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, and it looks like, um, you know, it's a very vibrant thing. It looks like it's there could be a lot of happiness within the, within the relationship. Um, beautiful. Just plain beautiful, okay? It looks like there's a lot of enjoyment. Um, just bliss, okay? It looks like there's a lot of bliss to be had with this. It looks like it's a fire sign to me. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It looks like, you know, you go within. You go within and you start to regain some of your passion or your vigor or your zest. And you decide to take a leadership role. That's what this says. It tells me that you decide to take a leadership role. And perhaps you're even going to take action. For, you need to take action probably towards this person. Maybe you need to make a choice between two people because we have the earth sign and we have the, the fire sign. You know, maybe the action is to let go of one of them. I don't, I don't know. Um, this is, the emperor is about structure, organization, logic, power, control. And, like I said, I think there's been some power struggles in this this reading. So, I think during this time, there's some power struggles. Um, and I think the power struggles are between the, the fire sign and the earth sign. You know, blending. This The temperance card is also about blending. So, perhaps there's some blending to be done in your life with this fire sign that could lead to happiness a lot of happiness um, you're about to have a breakthrough anyway you're about to have an epiphany put it that way that's going to cause you to let go okay it's time to let go of something for good it's time to surrender it's time to look at things from a new perspective it's time to pick your battles Okay, how long do you want to battle with somebody? It's time to pick your battles and decide what's it going to be. You know, do I want to have these challenges? Because this is challenges, okay? Um, 
Do I want to have this disarray? Do I want to have this tension and conflict? That's your major epiphany right there. That's an epiphany. It'd be great if we saw the two of wands come up right now. <laughs> Oh, feeling trapped, resistance, new beginning, okay? So here you're feeling trapped, you're feeling like you're imprisoned, you're feeling like you can't get away, you're feeling like you can't make a decision, you're feeling like you can't do something, you're feeling like you can't let go, perhaps you feel like something's blocking you from, let go, from letting go, perhaps you think you're not worthy of happiness with this fire sign. You know, mm -hmm. you know, perhaps, okay, down here we have this Ace of Pentacles that says, you know, this, this is a gift from God or your higher power that says, I'm going to give you this, um, this, um, pentacle, that's what it is. It's a pentacle of manifestation, but it's positive manifestation. It's a new one. Okay. It's raw potential to manifest something new, such as, um, security and stability all right i'm going to give this to you if you want to take it but you're resisting it why are you resisting it is it it's like it's uh, are you afraid to lose control of a situation are you afraid to lose control of this earth sign i don't know i don't know i'm sure that i will hear this may or may not resonate with everybody. We're all different and, you know, some it will and some it won't. Some may get just a bit of it and not the rest. Just, that's just the way it is. You're resisting the gift. You're resisting the gift of security and stability. Um, because I think your, your head is still trapped someplace else for some reason. But you're going to have an epiphany. You're going to have an awakening. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here's a new foundation. Okay, this is a brand new foundation for security and stability. Now you got, you got it on both sides. It's different cards, but they mean kind of the same thing. But you're resisting it. And it has to do with control. It has to do with power and control. Um... Hmm. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is a brand new cycle. All right, a brand new cycle of your life that leads to happiness and contentment and vitality um, and passion. All right, so this is coming in for you in August that you have the ability or you have the offer to spin the wheel. Okay, you have the offer to spin the wheel to change your life during this month, okay? Here, um, you're feeling insecure. You're feeling like you're stuck. You are stuck. You're feeling like you're stuck, and I think part of it is financially. Part of it, you're financially. Maybe you feel like you're responsible for something. Maybe you feel like you're responsible and you can't let go of something. Um, maybe um, you're, the fact that Maybe you feel like you don't make enough money, so you're you're resisting this because you you don't you feel like you're not wealthy enough. You know, I don't know, but it's time to let go of that. It's time to let go of the fear of not having enough because you do have enough. You can go. That looks like a church to me. You can go inside. You don't need to freeze. This is. They're feeling left out. They're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling like, but they're not left out. It's all thought. It's all a feeling feeling like they, they don't have enough or they're not equal or they can't go in or they're not good enough. You are good enough. Okay, you are good enough. Your intuition is on high. You already know that. Your intuition is way, 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 way up there. And I think that you're, you have the clearest thinking of them all at this point. You know what I mean? You do. You have the, the thought process, you know, it's intuition. Your intuition is right on. You are clearly um, getting the correct 
messages in your head. Do not discount your in, your intuition at this time, okay? Um, you are seeing a situation completely clearly. Um, this is also saying to honestly communicate with your partner. Communicate, 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 and do it with honesty. Honestly communicate. This right here is missing an opportunity, or you know, you're resisting here. Here is resistance. You're resisting something. You're resisting this ability to manifest something new. You're resisting this love, and you're resisting it because of something to do with control. It has to do with power and control. Maybe you you can't. You need to keep control of your emotions. You know, maybe you have to keep in control of your emotions at all times. So you can't really um, accept it fully, or you you're focused on something else and you don't see it. There's definitely a bond between you and somebody else. This bond is magnetic. It is a bond that is virtually unbreakable. Okay, um, this is also a Capricorn. Okay, so there's a bond that is unbreakable between you and this person. Um, and they could be part of your spinning of the wheel. They're up here as well. Um, and this new ability, this is a new ability to manifest abundance and security. It's a, it's a clean slate. Okay, um... It's a do-over. It's a new raw potential. But it is somebody that you are connected to so deeply that the pull is so strong that you can't you can't get away from it. I mean, it's inescapable, okay? We're going to get some of these. We're going to get some of these angel romance cards. It's still pouring out. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And that's not a pretty one. So there is challenges right now in your life. There's definitely some challenges. I think there's some power struggles. I think a lot of them are within yourself. Okay? I think that you're about to have an epiphany that, you know, wakes you up. You're about to have a wake-up call with this judgment card. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Make the effort with somebody, okay? If you need to surrender, if you need to let go, or if you need to make a gesture, make the effort, okay? Perhaps you need to let go of something so that you can build a brand new foundation from scratch, okay? You need to go within to figure out it is what you need to let go of, for real. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Yes, communicate. Like I said, honestly communicate. Get to know each other. This is over this fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I don't know. Either it is a, you know, it's a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or it is a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You need to honestly get, get down to the nitty-gritty if you haven't already. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost, innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. You have to be able... You have to be open to it. You have to be completely, completely, completely open to it with no resistance. This is resistance. Okay, I'm gonna, I got a new deck, so I'm going to give you guys one card. It's been going very well for the rest of them. Um, I have to read out of the book, though, because, like I said, it's brand new. Vintage Wisdom Oracle. That is my new deck. I'm going to give you one card. This is for Scorpio.
And there it is. New beginnings. New beginnings. I read this one earlier, but I cannot remember it. Remember it. I hope you can see that. This card indicates you may be about to enter a new phase of life. Unlike the card of transition, the mood of new beginnings is joyful expend expect expectancy. <coughs> I have to bring that up a little bit. This, okay, hold on. Heralding an opportunity to wake the slate clean and start fresh. It's funny, I said that. I said clean slate earlier. Love you guys. I love it when they do this for me. The supportive, nurturing energy of this card helps transcend old habits or ways of, of relating which have been holding you back. A new beginning is not necessarily radical. Sometimes a series of subtle changes bring about the most lasting and miraculous benefits. Perhaps you've been working toward new, toward new beginnings, such as relocation or career change, but restrictions have hindered your progress. Know that the seeds of change have already been sown in readiness for your intention to manifest ideas and turn your aspirations into realities. This card indicates you may be about to enter a new phase of life. heralding an opportunity to wipe the slate clean and start fresh. That is beautiful. So, that is what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, that's it. Uh, talk to you soon.